Hi, this is Jan Payne empowering you to attract incredible possibilities. Today's a very exciting day for me because today I just got the newest version of my book, Victim or Victor, You Always Have a Choice. I decided to re-release it at a new lower price and it's $9.95. Is, I wanted more people to be able to purchase it. And in this book, what I really do is simplify it because so often what happens to me when I'm in a session is I'm talking to a client and they may be explaining something that happened to them in their life. And understand, I understand that I am the coach and that, you know, I can help them. So it's good that they're sharing this with me. And very often when they explain it to me and I say to them, well, is it okay with you if I reflect back to you what you just said? And they say, sure. And so I tell them what they just said, and they'll go, oh my God, I do sound like a victim. I totally sound like a victim. What about being critical? You know, one of the things that I love about Brian Tracy is he says never criticize, condemn, or complain, or blame. I love that. How often are we critical and what does that say about us? Whenever we are criticizing somebody, we're actually being a victim. That's my perception of it anyway. And so this is what I say in this book. Are you a critical person? Are you always looking for what is wrong with the situation? Are you the kind of person who can walk into a restaurant or a shop and pick out everything that is wrong? You know, you always have a choice. You can be in victim mode and be the one who is consistently criticizing, complaining, condemning, or blaming someone else. Or you can choose to compliment. Do you know that some people actually thrive on conflict? They often look for any reason to find fault. Some people really enjoy being miserable. According to Eckhart Tolle, their pain body is looking to be fed. In The Power of Now, Tolle explains how each of us has a pain body that cannot be fed by joy. It can only be fed by pain or drama, and therefore many people continually look for conflict so their pain body can be fed, and they can continue to be the victim. Drama, drama, drama. I believe you can probably identify with this. Someone in your life that drains you. When you either close the door happily behind you or hang up the phone with that person, you realize how exhausted and totally drained you are. You might choose at this moment to think about some ways that you can creatively turn that, create, that situation around, turn that conversation around. Think about some questions that you might be able to ask that person. Can you change their focus in such a way that they might get caught up in a new idea and even start thinking? in a new way. Wouldn't that be cool? And so, you know, we have a solution here. Choose to compliment rather than criticize. Every time you begin to criticize, take a deep breath and imagine that sound of chalk on the blackboard and smile and find something good to say. And I love this quote by Leo Bisiglia. He says, too often we underestimate the power of a touch, a smile, a kind word, a listening ear, an honest compliment, and the smallest act of caring, all of which have the potential to turn a life around. Until next time, this is Jan Payne encouraging you to be the victor and empowering you to attract incredible possibilities. Have a better than good day. Bye-bye.